Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Amazon Data Dudes. I'm your host, Will Christensen. I am the lead product manager here at Seller Labs. I am super, super excited. We have another guest today. I'm very excited to have Jessica here with us. She is our resident Amazon genius. That's what we officially like to call her. She's, she prefers brand strategist or something more formal like that. But let's be honest, it really is Amazon genius. We also have Brandon Checkets, our CEO, and Jordan Checkets, our COO. So we're going to talk about something today. We're actually going to talk about something scarier than Halloween, which is just right around the corner. We're going to talk about a year that not only has an Amazon fee increase coming in just a couple of weeks, but five Amazon fee increases this year. That's pretty scary stuff. I mean, stack that on top of gas prices and we're all hiding under our desks, right? Um, Jessica, tell us a little bit about that. Five Amazon fee changes? Yeah, and that's just off the top of my head, so I might even be missing one. So we're used to, typically annually, we'll see an increase in the first quarter to either storage or FBA fees. Um, and then again, this time of year, definitely storage fee increases for peak season. But this year we we had, um, storage fee increase at the beginning of the year. We had the 5% uh, fuel surcharge that hit fulfillment fees mid-year. Um, they introduced the um, aged inventory surcharge, which basically is a new name for long-term storage that kicks in earlier. So now I think at 271 days, you start getting charged extra fees for long-term storage. And then those fees increase again at the normal 365 long-term storage. Um, then we're, of course, expecting the normal storage fee increase mid, um, at the October 1st, but this year for the first time ever in FBA history, we're getting hit with a peak fulfillment fee or FBA fee surcharge as well. So definitely a, a scary year for sellers with all of those fee increases. Just keep getting, it feels like you get, keep getting nickel and dimed every time it's just a 1% here and a 2% there, but it adds up. It really does. Yeah. Man, I I, I'm shaking in my boots, and if anybody else was wondering whether or not we have an Amazon genius on our hands, about two-thirds of the way through that, I was like, wow, I there were is she speaking English still? Because this sounds like Amazon Ease or something. That's awesome. Um, super, super glad to have you here. Jordan, you're a seller. Can you tell us a little bit more about why sellers should care about these fees? Yeah, I mean, so I've been selling on Amazon since 2009, and... Um, Man, in the beginning, you didn't have to worry so much. The profit margins were there. Fees weren't there. It's gotten so competitive. And the vast majority of Amazon sellers right now are dealing with margins where if you're not on top of your uh, like on top of your pricing or on top of these fee changes, you'll go months paying way more on a product than you were planning on. Um, and it will eat you alive. Like you, in order to compete in today's market, you have to be on top of all of these things. Um, uh, so, otherwise, you're just you're leaving money on the table, and it's I mean, the profit margins just aren't there to be neglected. So, so you're saying that the profit margin is so slim that if they're not watching this, they could start to go into the negative it, with a product that they're selling. Oh yeah, I, I know Amazon sellers all the time that sell at a loss or at a negative, and um, even uh, our, internally, like our our seller lab services team, where we help our clients, we'll catch it all the time where clients have been selling and they're actually losing money, and they've been losing money for months. And they didn't know it until they joined our team and we pointed it out the first week and they're like, oh, I didn't realize they changed that fee and I've actually been losing money on it. Sometimes it's sometimes it's a small amount, but sometimes it's a pretty significant amount depending on what the fee is. Uh, mm -hmm. Amazon storage fees, if they change anything in particular there, you could have something that went from one storage uh, tier to a different size storage tier and then the fees are pretty significant. So. You, I mean, you've got to watch these things uh, to be competitive. Otherwise, I mean, I wish that there was this like I could just like close my eyes and take a, a an accurate survey and figure out how many products on Amazon are actually losing money. Like I would be so it's curious to so know. So much more than people think. If people just don't. They're not watching it enough. Even if you're watching it weekly, it's, sometimes it's still not enough. I mean. Um, I, I, I see people sometimes who haven't really looked at it in detail. They just think two years ago, I did an analysis and I was making 25%. And so I'm still good, right? But they didn't realize that over that course of the, that time, between advertising and fee changes, their 25% is now at like 10%. Yeah, yeah or, or nearly less. as much as what or they less, thought. Yeah. Yeah. Totally yeah, crazy. Totally well, crazy. And a lot of times it doesn't seem like a big change, right? You kind of alluded to that, Will. It's like sometimes it's like, oh, 1%. But it's like 1%, you know, on uh, FBA fees, 1% on, 
uh, referral fees and then 3% on storage fee. Like, and then it all adds up. But the, way that, the way they present it, it you just don't, you don't yeah. catch it. Here's something. And then two months later, here's something else. And in the Amazon world, you know, like so many things going on at once. You forget about that thing that happened two months ago. And now they've added something else. And then they're like, two months later, just rolling out another subtly. It's just a 5% increase. No big deal. Yeah. Big like deal. You, <laughs> you, you just have to constantly be make, like reevaluating your profitability on a skew level just to make sure you're catching all the frequent changes. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So Jessica, as you were evaluating this for SLS clients and, you know, doing that brand strategy, which you're so brilliant at, you came up with a problem that you brought to our CEO, who is a an Amazon data genius. We'll, 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 we'll throw it out that direction. What tell us about that? What did you what did you bring to the Amazon data dude uh, as your problem? Yeah, so it's really tough when these changes roll out. We want to be able to make sure our clients are aware of what those changes are, but not just what the changes are, but how that does impact their bottom line. So, you know, if you're paying this price today, but Amazon's increasing that fee 5% across all of your items, or if they're increasing it, not a set percentage, but it's just gonna change to this price, what does that mean for your profitability? And Amazon doesn't give you an easy way to see that, right? So they are nice enough to give us a 30 day heads up in most cases, at least when a change is going to happen, but then you've got that 30 days to kind of manually scrap together the information. If you go to their fee calculator, what you're gonna see is what those fees are today. It doesn't tell you what that's gonna look like 30 days from now or when that new increase hits. And even the um, and the fee preview report that's available inside of Seller Central, that also just tells you what's gonna be on the next um, next reporting date or the next date that they're gonna charge you. So it's still current fees. It doesn't take into account what a true a fee preview would be. So that's the problem. We can't see the impact to the items without manually collecting all that information product by product. So as you go through and manually collect, I mean, this sounds like, you know, oh, you've got to go into the dark and you have no way to understand like left, right, backwards, underneath and across hundreds of SKUs. Like that sounds like it could be really difficult to figure out, uh, should I be raising prices? Should I be removing this product from Amazon? Like, like what, what are my options here? And you don't know unless you do that manual calculation. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, for a seller who has five items, it's not as big of a deal. But you know that's not the average Amazon seller. You know you're looking at more at like hundreds or thousands of items, and that's a huge time-consuming task that you know business owners really just don't have the time to sit down and and do just because Amazon wanted to implement yet another fee. So as you were doing this manually, and you uh, jumped in with Brandon, our Amazon data dude, and you know what, what did you pitch to him? What what did you what did you tell him? Um. So I don't want to necessarily take credit for the whole idea. I'm not sure who said what, but. A fee calculator, Amazon's concept, that fee calculator that exists, but it just gives us more information that gives us that view into the future of what it looks like when this next fee rolls out and then this next fee rolls out to be able to see that information side by side and know today I'm making, you know, 15 points on this, but tomorrow I might only be making 10 points on this and, and what do I need to do for my business? So Brandon, in true Seller Labs fashion, um, you did this with Feedback Genius, you know, the other other things. In true Seller Labs fashion, you decided, you know what, there should be a tool for that. Um, and and can you show us, like, tell, tell us, tell us one, what did you think when you got that problem? And then show us what you built. Well, sure. I, I actually built a version of this eight years ago or something. We were using it before all those fee preview reports and fee reports were available. So we just kind of adapted what we had already built and hadn't used for a while. So we kind of dusted that off and made it available again. Um, but uh, I can go ahead and share my screen and talk about what we've built here. Let me get to the right screen. This one, I think. Yep, that should be it. So so what we put together, this is kind of a quick website just to make it available for our own team to use. And we think it'll be available for everybody and it'll, everybody will be able to find it useful as well. Uh, so you can go to feecalc.sellerlabs.com. When you're on this page, like obviously the main thing it asks you for is a, a, an ASIN. So we allow you to paste in an ASIN or a, a, just the URL from any Amazon page. And when you hit look up here, what it does is it looks up uh, the it looks up the product from the Amazon catalog, and we get a bunch of the, the important information we need to make the the fee calculation, including like the pro, the product type, the product dimensions, including the you know length, width, height, and weight. And, and I think that's the main things that we use to go into that. And then we pull in the, the current fee. So right now we're looking at the fees that are current through October 15th. 
And then starting October October 15th, Amazon's added some uh, some fees to that. So we've got two columns here that show the current fees and future fees. And you can see how that breaks down. So we've got, we pull in the, the sale price, but you can change the price here if you'd like to see how that plays out of a different price. Um, but you can see on this particular product, this is just one I randomly picked a pickle jar that was somewhere on Amazon. And uh, the, the current fees right now are $6.08. And starting October 15th, uh, those fees for FBA fulfillment will be $6.60. So that's an increase of 52 cents in fees, which is 52 cents doesn't sound like much, but if you're selling 100 of these or 1,000 of these a month, uh, that definitely adds up. So that's a, you know, if you do all the math on it, you're, you're making 52 cents less on this than you were, um, you know, one day, one day after October 15th than you were uh, today. Right. And so the other thing that's interesting here is this FBA surcharge. If you haven't looked at this recently, this FBA surcharge is, a, is an extra 30, 30 cents that wasn't being charged six months or nine months ago. So if you haven't looked at this in that time, it's really like an 80 cent charge or an 83 cent increase from where this was uh, like in January this year. Yeah. Really glad you pointed out that surcharge too, because the surcharge is dependent upon the regular FBA fulfillment fee. So it's a 5% surcharge. So every time Amazon increases that fulfillment fee, they're also in theory, you know, increasing what you're paying for that surcharge is going up. Yeah, you say the, the surcharge went from 29 cents to 31 cents. So it went up, uh, uh, you know, proportional to the actual fulfillment fee. And this is a great example that you picked too, because Amazon said, oh, on like we're rolling out this change for Q4, but don't worry on average, it's a just a 35 cent change for, you know, on average for products. And of course, the first example you pull is a 52 cent change, not 35 cents. Yeah, there, I mean, there's plenty of examples. I think 31 cents is probably the, the, the mo most of them that I saw was a 31 yeah. cent increase. Um, but definitely that's, you know, average of small products. You know, if you, certainly if you're selling bigger products, uh, the, 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 the fee difference is much more than, uh, you know, 30 cents or 50 cents. Yeah. Anyway, so so that, that's, that's just an important thing to pay attention to, like I said, so because your fees could be 80 cents, you know, 80 percent, 80 cents divided by the thirty seven dollar price is uh, five percent mm -hmm. uh, increase increase in the, you know, the, your gross margin decreased by five percent in nine months. Mm -hmm. So as you dig into this and kind of see where that goes, Jordan, um, you're muted at the moment, but I actually want I want to hear from you what what is this like being able to see the difference like that what's that what does that do for you as a seller well it's it's super helpful i i think the, the biggest thing is just to be mindful of these continually changing fees um and and to be reevaluating your profitability on a SKU level on a routine like fairly like frequent routine basis um what i was going to say was like um you know, it, we all see that this in, the inflation that's going on right now is crazy, right? Like we're all paying more money. We're, we're getting used to actually paying more money for stuff. Consumers are actually, to some degree, expecting stuff to be more expensive right now. So literally, like in the history, uh, at least of my life, this is the best time to increase prices. Mm -hmm. um, because people, it, the economy has just been acting in such a way where that's becoming very normal and very expected. So we have one product, it's one of our flagship products that we've been selling at $12.99 for 10 years. And we just increased the price to $14.99 because, you know, my salary for employees is going up, material costs are going up, all these things really are going up. So I, I think that a lot of businesses over the next, well, I think it's already started, but over the next year or two years, a lot of businesses are going to go uh, bankrupt if they're not paying attention to their profit margins because everything is getting more expensive. If they think they can stay at the same price, their days are numbered. Yeah, absolutely. So um, this is what we're offering as Seller Labs to just the general public. You're welcome to go here and, and check this out. Uh, throw that in one by one. Brandon, you had something cooked up uh, 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 even a little bit deeper for those who have decided to uh, start a free trial with Pro or who are already using Pro. Can you tell us a little bit more about what the Seller Labs Pro users are going to uh, be able to see? Sure. So I'll hop over to another screen here. So when inside, if you're a Seller Labs Pro customer or sign up for it, uh, you'll see in their dashboard here, we've got a section that says uh, you can generate a fee change uh, report. And basically it does this, it goes through all the products in your catalog that you're, you're selling actively on Amazon. And it will do this product or do this process for you and uh, export a spreadsheet for you. So you can op open up that spreadsheet in Excel or Google Sheets 
and it'll have a column for the current uh, fee structure, the future fee structure. Uh, we put we pull in there the uh, difference between the two, obviously, and then we also pull in the past 30 days worth of sales and do the math to figure out, you know, if you if you had this many sales over the next 30 days with the fee change, this is the total net effect that you'll see for that product. So as you're looking at this, this is threefold. It, you know, you could go to feetcalc.sellerlabs.com and put those in manually. And we're going to do something that no other calculator out there is doing. We're actually going to show you what the predicted fees are. So we, we did the check mark. That, is that what you were worried about, Jessica? Is that what we're, we're solving, that we're solving that issue there? Yeah, just being able to see those fees side by side and then even have that difference calculated for you so you know on a product by product basis exactly what that impact is to your bottom line. Beautiful. So if you've got a product you're worried about right now, open that up, check that out. If you see any issues with it, obviously send those into us. We're happy to continue to make improvements on it. And then we've taken that a step further and you, this is totally available with your free trial of, of Pro. You can log in, you know, uh, throw in that credit card number. We don't charge you for 30 days. You get to try out the software and you can get yourself a an automated list that's going to show you product by product, row by row, um, your entire profitability shift um, based upon this fee change that's coming. So maybe that scary day of fee changing won't be quite as scary um, because you've got some Seller Labs Pro in your back pocket to take care of that. I, I think that's about all we had for today. Anything else anybody wants to share? I mean, I, I would just say like the actions you can take on that would be raising your price. And so if, if, if you know, if your fee is going up by 80 cents and you raise your price by a dollar, you might actually come out ahead. If you decide to raise your price on that, you know, it might actually be a happy day for you. Not so scary. Yeah. Do do remember though on Amazon when raising your prices, do it incrementally or slowly. So Amazon then doesn't give you that pricing health, health warning flag and make your item not uh, searchable, which is always a pain. Like yeah. you've got all these hoops to jump through to get, to get there. But. Well, and on top of that, I would add, make sure you're increasing your price across all of the websites. Cause if you increase your price on Amazon, but not Walmart, then you're gonna lose the buy box, right? On the listing. Yep. So I was just gonna say like, this to me is what makes or breaks Amazon companies. If you're able to actually forecast what's coming up and, and set yourself up to make changes on the day that the fees change, that's how a successful Amazon business is run. Unfortunately, the majority of people are not gonna do that. They're gonna pay an additional you know, fee that they weren't planning on for three or four months. They're gonna do analysis and figure, hey, why didn't we make as much money as we were expecting? And then they're gonna respond. And that's just not, uh, that's not running a tight ship. Like that's, if you wanna be as successful as you can on Amazon, you gotta be uh, thinking ahead. And this, I love this tool. I love the concept for this tool because it helps sellers to do that. And this is just one of many more to come. If you're just beginning to check into the ADD Amazon Data Deeds episodes, keep watching because we are innovating um, on a regular basis. We've got our brand geniuses in the background uh, constantly looking at that. I don't know if you heard, but our next episode here uh, or a, an episode coming soon is going to be about how to increase those prices and not run into all those health warnings. You, you heard Jessica's warning there. Sounds like a fantastic next episode to me. Um, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you, everybody, for, for coming to this episode of Amazon Data Dudes.